This is Twit. I can't remember if I've done this one. So did I already do the Firewall of Purple? No. Do not no. recall. The no, Firewall of Purple? No, the Firewall. So I've talked about Firewall. This is a device you use on your router. Oh, I think um, you might have mentioned Firewall before. Do you I have one now? I the gold and the blue. I do. So... Y'all probably oh, saw you have the Firewalla. I recognize the logo now, Firewalla. Yeah, but tell us so about it because this... you didn't have one at the time, so I want to hear about it. I didn't, and I. This the I idea is this, this is a like a here. Raspberry Pi kind of a security appliance that you you put in your network, right? Did you get the gold? Yes. Or which one did you get? The purple. I got the purple, okay. and I got that because I'm on a gigabit network, but I don't need quite the tools of the fancy purple. Right. I'm sorry, of the gold. fancy gold. Right. Um, so what this is, I'm, I'm pulling, I pulled it here. This is the fire wallet device. And what I got it for is actually because I've got probably about 80 or 60 to 80 IOT devices on my network. And this actually shows me <laughs> all the traffic on my network. That's really useful. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It shows me the traffic on my network. It shows me how many gigabytes or megabytes or kilobits, whatever they're sending. Um, it breaks down by MAC address, what things are sending data, where they're sending it to. So you can see things are going to like the People's Republic of China, mm. if you would like, or to mm. Colorado. I don't, I still can't figure out who's sending traffic to Colorado, but whatever. Can you I block like by a country? I, on my ubiquity, I block China, for instance. Can you just say, I don't want to... If I, I did don't that, some of my devices won't work. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh there's that. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I think it's a really interesting tool. It's this. It's good for this audience because y'all are super nerdy. It, it, it's not that nerdy. It's not hard to use at all. You download an app and you plug it in. That's it. Um, it will also quarantine things on your network if you want. You can also set up VPN features if you want to do all that through this. Um but it's really just deep packet inspection on your own network. And I found it to be pretty cool for tracking like how my devices behave. And some of them, like, why does my outlet need to send that much data? I really right. don't know. So, so it, it also works questions it, to ask manufacturers. It also works as a firewall though, right? It's a security device as well. Yes, yes. I'm I'm less worried about that, but Right. I know I should be. Well, you got parental <laughs> controls on it, which is nice. And I presume it's got to add it, it blocking. It mimics and some of the features that like your Eero Plus or some of or the Pi Plus Hole. services you yeah. might. Yeah. Oh, it this has is way easier own, than Pi Hole. It has its own uh, VPN server. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Oh, I, that's I really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Cool. And you're so happy with it? Didn't slow your network down? You feel like it was fast? It did not. And that's what I was like, because some of these can slow your network down. Yeah. I have not felt like this. So, and for everyone who's telling me I should segment my network, I counter with, if I segment my network properly, then my your IoT, IoT stuff devices works. won't talk <laughs> yeah. to mm -hmm. my phone and some of my It's so annoying. Away. Problem. Yeah. I've done that. I so, have an IoT... Uh, uh, what do they call it? A VLAN, and I have a mm -hmm. a, a regular VLAN for secu a secure VLAN, but you have to then do all sorts of rules so that things can talk to one another. By the time you're done, exactly. it's like a pain. So, mm -hmm. how many devices? I'm just curious. I'm looking at mine. I have 83 devices. On Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think I have. I'd, it used to show me, but it no longer shows me. Which on map? This map. Forty percent of those are in the closet somewhere. You, I have 65. You have a better map than I do. Uh, like, And also, let me see. I think I could block geographically, can I? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing Ubiquity? Did you ever see, did I send you that video about how to like super segment your Ubiquity network from YouTube? Uh, yes, you so did. Amazing. That's what I was using. Yes. And that's yeah. the thing is you did. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So I'm also blocking Ukraine. I didn't realize that. Oh. Um, so I'm blocking China, Russia, and Ukraine. S Maybe I wonder if that's I wonder if it is impacting some of my IoT devices. I never even thought about that. Everything seems to work. China, but if, maybe. Yeah, if I should check and see if I have any devices that aren't aren't working. Yeah, <laughs> all eighty three of them, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Well, you know, you get voice assistance, and I actually was going to ask you, Stacey, if I should get a, a. I was talking to Lisa about a Bluetooth door lock, like the like oh. the, with HomeKit, like the new Apple. HomeKit thing. Oh, the HomeKey one? Um, yeah, HomeKey, that's it. Akara makes one, but there's another one. Schlage, I think, No, there's makes another one. one that, Schlage, the Schlage encode now has HomeKey. That's yeah. a good lock. 
Is it? It's very efficient. It's a Wi-Fi lock, which is great. Um, I don't know if the HomeKit one is a Wi-Fi lock. Um, but the, actually, but they also uh, use NF. I think they use NFC, right? They use NFC. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to buy a new smart lock, and I'm torn between the level, which I think is aesthetically pleasing, but doesn't have a keypad attached, and just going with the end code. Some of these apparently they're very flexible. They 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 will use varieties of ways to, including mm -hmm. face ID to identify and thumbprint. <laughs> wow. So the, the Schlage, the Encode Plus, you think is all right? That one's Wi-Fi. Uh, is that their HomeKit one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the, that's yeah. a good, I have that lock on my, on my front door, y'all. Come on over. <laughs> Come on over. I'll bring my, I'll bring my uh, iPhone and <laughs> kind of get to the Well, I love the idea way. of being able to say uh, to somebody here, you know, I'll let you in. Here's a temporary pass or something like that. That's Well, you don't actually need, you don't need a smart lock, a connected lock to do that. I mean, my friend has a programmable Schlage lock that is not. Oh, yeah. You can just give them a code. But, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. She just creates a code and gives yeah. me the code that's set for X number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. The firewall of purple, gigabit cybersecurity firewall and router with Wi-Fi protecting your family and business. Well, you mentioned it was Raspberry Pi sized, but it ain't Raspberry Pi priced. No, <laughs> several hundred. It's one hundred and eighty nine. Is it? That's still. It says three nineteen. Oh, I thought it was. I'm sorry. It's three nineteen. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. The, uh, there's a cheaper one for if you're if I you don't have Stacey a gigabit network, point. you can go down. Yeah, they have a variety no, no, no. of if solutions. You, yeah. Yeah, so if you have like a 500 megabit per second network, I can't remember if it's gold. It's There's the gold, Blue Plus, yellow? which is 189. The gold is the most expensive, 468. And there's the it's Firewall of Red, which is only 139 bucks, but doesn't have anything inside. I think you want the blue. Dinksy. Dinksy, wincy. Dinksy. There's all the different uh, firewallers. <laughs>